Well, hey everybody, it's Jason. I am here at the auction tonight, live, and you're probably gonna see some flashing in the background because it's thundering and lightning. And it's a crazy rainy cold night and we're here at the auction to save lives. Unfortunately, there's over 100 horses here tonight. And I can tell you, I know we're not gonna be able to save all 100. But with your support, we can save a lot of them. Now, um, I do want to tell you some unfortunate news. Facebook has glitched out on us on their latest update, and our donate buttons aren't showing up anymore. And until we get that fixed, we're really going to need some extra help from our YouTube fans. I know a lot of people are like, we don't even go to Facebook anymore. So can we kind of prove that tonight and uh, click one of those donate links below? And I mean, literally, if you go to our Facebook you look for a donate button it's not there we can only accept donations over links now and uh yeah facebook is uh kind of drawing pet finder on just uh messing us over a little bit but you guys are awesome and there's over a hundred horses here tonight but what's really crazy is there's like 30 draft horses and i know everybody loves rescuing draft horses they're they cost a bit more because they weigh more right so horses are sold by the pound and draft horses are going to cost a little bit more to save than regular horses. I don't know how many we're going to end up with. It'd be amazing if we could rescue like 10 of the draft horses and uh, keep them safe from slaughter. But uh, I think they're mostly Belgiums. I don't know for sure which breed they are. I actually just got to the auction myself. A bunch of other of our staff have been here. They've been sending me pictures. There's abscesses. There's, um, there's one horse that's got a shoulder thrown out. There's... Uh, there's, you know, just the normal problems here. But uh, again, if you guys can uh, just hit that donate button down below, sure would appreciate it. And uh, Tony and Rebecca are back in the motel. They're gonna be sending out emails. Have we ever rescued Clydesdale? Yeah, I do believe we have. Hi, Meg, wanted to say hi to you. Um, everybody loves draft horses. They're, <laughs> they're kind of the gentle giants of the horse world. And yeah, usually they're Belgians. Usually they're used up from working so hard and uh, yeah, there, there's usually something wrong with draft horses if they're at the auction and they're cheap enough to buy. For, I mean, they're not cheap enough to buy, but cheap enough to rescue in the slaughter price range. There's usually something drastically wrong with them, either legs or hooves or uh, something like that. Um, our goal again tonight is 20. It seems like that's always our goal, and it seems like we always get above that. So we'll just have to see how it goes. I do know... Uh, Donations are a little bit of a struggle with Facebook being like, mm, we're not going to let you put Facebook donate buttons on your post anymore. And that just, it doesn't make any sense. So um, anyway, just wanted to check in with you guys. There's been a lot of lightning since I pulled into the auction yard and that's uh, absolutely crazy. Ah, uh, Kayla, thank you. And uh, yeah, uh, Tina from uh, British Columbia s says hi. And uh, very likely there's some blind horses tonight. Um, don't know for sure yet. But there are, where do I go to donate? Down below, there's a lot of um, donation links in the uh, description of this, or you can just go to horseplus.org and I'll go right to our website. And uh, another way to donate is to text HPHS to 89871. So, um, <laughs> interestingly enough, in the intro for uh, season one of Horse Rescue here, season one, season two, season one, season one, um, the intro had lightning. Connie and I are walking out through a gate and there's lightning. And that was all actually real. And it was right here at Cookville. And uh, can I post the link? Yeah, please do post the link up. Absolutely. And uh, anyway, so it seems like, and we actually filmed a small tornado here at the Cookville auction one time. And uh, it wasn't great footage, so we didn't release it. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, oh, there goes my truck. It thinks that I don't need to have any lights on. Oh dear. Um, I've signed up with Amazon. Yes, thank you. Yes, uh, signing up with Amazon um, Smile. Smile.amazon.com. All of your purchases, they donate a little bit. You can sign up and make us your charity of choice. Um, there's just a lot of ways to help. Even just uh, sharing videos like this one and uh, just getting the word out. So just uh, get my lights back on here. Oh, terrible. Okay, one of these days I'm going to bring my little portable light and plug in the USB port and have a light. And uh, yay, lots of people are making it. Hello, uh, Quantum Light down in Texas. And uh, again, I'm at the auction right now. Um, use that link. Yes, thank you so much, Meg. Um, my, yes, my truck thinks. Thank you so much. Um, hold on a second here, y'all. Loretta says she made a small donation. Really appreciate it. And 
yeah, it is, uh, they are calling for crazy weather tonight down in Louisiana, Mississippi. So I hope y'all are safe. And uh, I know it's a tough time of year to donate. Like literally, you know, Thanksgiving's just over. That's an expensive holiday. A lot of people traveled or, um, and then Christmas is coming right up and Cyber Monday. I don't know about y'all. I got sick and tired of getting emails from every company I've ever bought something from in the last 20 years. They all emailed me, you know, where save this much money and save this much money. And it's like, you're not saving money if you're spending money. So I know the economy is getting a little rough, but uh, even five or 10 bucks could definitely help save lives. And uh, yeah, the, the email sales were insane. This uh, Cyber Monday and Black Friday and you know, one thing I find interesting, I went to Walmart on Black Friday, completely coincidental, just needed something. I was uh, doing some work and uh, I noticed that there was no food on uh, Black Friday sales and they never put gasoline or diesel on uh, Black Friday. So, but enough of Black Friday. Um, just wanna ask you guys, please donate if you can and uh, really appreciate every donation. And I know it's hard, so please, uh, please donate if you can. And there's about a hundred horses here tonight. And there's like 30 drafts. It's insane. So I've got to jump off. I'm actually gonna be over on Facebook Live if you guys wanna follow me over there. In just a minute, it's gonna sound about the same, but um, is there a maximum amount you can donate, Jillian? There's, uh, no, we've had some major, the biggest donation we've ever had was a ranch in Colorado. And that was uh, re fairly recently. And that was a huge donation. And uh, it, it's gone down to where people, uh, thank you so much, Canadian, for your $10. Really appreciate that. And uh, yep, so please uh, please use one of the links below. Now, interestingly enough, if you donate on YouTube, YouTube will cover, 100, uh, cover all of the processing fees. So 100% of that money comes to us. But um, any any way that you want to donate is just greatly appreciated. So the animals, the slaughter price, I just looked it up. And uh, market reports indicate that slaughter prices for horses are between 25 and 52 cents a pound. So a full-size normal horse at 1,000 pounds would be 250 to $500 roughly. So it seems like prices are usually a touch higher here this auction than that market report but that one is one that they just ship horses straight to slaughter from that auction so yeah it's uh really appreciate it donate 20 bucks for horse plus thank you so much emily really appreciate it and uh yeah just uh love you guys so much and i'm gonna jump off and go on facebook live and then we'll be going into the auction and they're gonna start the horses here real soon and just stay, uh, stay tuned because I'm going to let you guys know as much as I can what's going on. So again, just a quick recap. There's about 100 horses here tonight. There's over 30 uh, draft horses and we're going to save as many horses as we can. So take care y'all and I will see you again soon.